first type of footwork is stomping. And we're going to do this in place. So one. number one. So if I was facing towards the camera and I brought my legs out on one side of the triangle, right, to a V, my left heel, I'm going to bring it up as I bend my knees. My right foot is totally on the ground. Now, I'm going to take this in levels. So the first part is just lowering that. I am not trying to create a loud noise. Okay? And I'm not lifting my leg just to stomp to make the noise. Right? I'm bringing it up to the point where my foot is parallel to the ground. Turn and bring the foot down. That's it. Okay? Bring your foot up parallel. Turn. That's it. Okay? So, is it your heel that comes to the ground first, or your, the balls of your toe that hits the ground first? No, it's the whole foot that comes and makes contact with the ground. And you are feeling your weight drop, right? You are not trying to create simply a sound. Okay. The second part of this is to coordinate the back, right? So here, right, I'm gonna curl, right? I'm gonna hollow my chest, I'm gonna curl, I'm gonna twist, and I'm going to bring my chin up at the last one. Again, curl, turn, and up. Curl, up the chin. Curl, up the chin. Okay. Reasons why we stop. Okay. Um, one reason is that it is a practice method to remind us that when the body is in motion, everything's in motion. When the body stops, everything stops. So what I don't want to happen when we're practicing is that you're here and your, your, your upper body is over your stance, right? Or you're still shaking like this. Right? We don't want that to happen. We want our body to be set where all of those alignments, right? The six harmonies, your shoulder, your hip, your elbow, and your knee, your hands, and your feet are all straight lines. So it's a way of reminding us, don't be over your stuff. Don't overextend or under, underextend. Right? You just want to make sure that you're in the right frame. Okay? Number two is that it's reminding us that we're coordinating our lower body and upper body. You can always kick before you punch. Right? Simple things like kicking somebody in the shin, right? stopping on someone's foot. Right? All of those things are fair game. So we're going to have our hands behind the back the whole time. I'm going to bend my knees. And I'm going to open my right foot up. Okay. I'm going to bring my left foot up, point my toes, and touch and twist. Open. Notice that when I'm doing this, right? So if I did it with my other leg, right? The rear leg, the supporting leg, is still bent, right? It takes a lot of balance, right? That's it. That's it. Um, I think one of the easiest ways to do it is. Again, I talked about those little kicks that you did. After I kick your shin, step in, right? I gotta make sure that when I'm, every time I'm applying this, right, I'm going into that horse stance. So if I do it here and my toes are pointed away, I just bend. Yes, you'll feel the pressure, but what you wanna do is you wanna lock it in. Okay, lock it in. And then bend. Okay? We're gonna take this rear foot, we're gonna step out. We're going to turn and step forward. Step out. Step out. One more time. Step out. One. Okay. We're going to go back the same way we came from. So take your rear foot, step out, turn.
practice, we're doing a moving trial. Right? We're going up and down, whatever room we're in. Right? If we were to do this in place, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace out this triangle on the floor. Trace out this triangle on the floor. to me. You're on the outside. That's it. Well, go inside. Outside. Go ahead. Inside. Outside. You can do it at the same time. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. But we're going to have our hands behind our back. Bring our knees down. Step diagonal. first and then the hand this other hand will create the that's it okay but this hand moves first mm, right Aha. Okay, one more time I'm gonna do it one more time hand moves first just a little bit Boom. Okay. hand move first okay. so hand moves first okay. so hand moves first No one actually fights with their arms crossed, but I want to give you a little bit of resistance, a little bit of training. You're going to be from here, yes. right? So we're training this way so you actually get some kind of, yeah, some kind of starting point, right? So hand moves first, then open, that's it, open, open, that's it. So here, that's it. It doesn't have to be this close, okay? All you're needing is just a little bit of real time. 